Welcome back to Crafty Concepts with Erin. I'm Erin and I'm here with the creative design team for the Love Your Stash Challenge all February long. This week we have been tackling our old leftover kits. So I pulled out this, um, this is called Central Park and I've had this for a long time and I love it, but I don't know why I've never used it before. It came with these pre-designed layouts and projects and there was cards in here, but yeah, I'm not gonna use that. So let's take a look at what comes in the kit. First of all, we have a ton of fun, very, very vibrant papers. This just kind of screams summertime to me. It was like, you know, just kind of like a walk in the park. Hence the name Central Park. So we have a lot of title options in here and there's these cool vellum pieces. Now there is a lot of hot air balloons in this kit and I won't be using those, but that's okay. I'll save them for another project. We have the sequins and then this, uh, sheet of letter stickers so this will come in handy i'm sure it's kind of it looks red but it's kind of an orangey red tone so i dug through my stash and found these photos of my boys and i we were at one of our lakes close by and just having a great time jumping off rocks kayaking water wrestling doing all the fun things that kids love well everybody loves really my poor husband was stuck at work but we were having a grand old time so there's lots of colors in these photos that are in this paper pack so i think this is going to work really well i'm starting with uh, two sheets of white daisy and then i pick the papers that i want to use we're going to use the blue tones and the the orangey red tones so I'm following a sketch and I know where I wanna lay these photos. So these are all printed in three and a half by five. And as you can see, I have a lot of orange in the two pictures on the left. So I'm gonna take this one, scoot it all the way over to the right. So that kind of draws your eye across with just the photos alone. So now I will start bringing in the pattern papers and this is cut to 10 inch square. And then we're gonna do like a center, uh, just center row over here. So this one is six and a half by 12. So I've cut these pattern papers to three inch strips and I'm just going to kind of bring them in down from the top. I will dovetail these, but I'm not sure how long I want them. So I'm just sliding them in to eyeball it now for placement. And then I will mirror that process on the left-hand side of the page the same exact way. So I dug through some of the other collections I have. This is so much happy and there's a scrap piece of paper in here that matches that color perfectly. I didn't have any cardstock that matched because this is an older kit. So I'm gonna use this to map those two photos there. And then we'll just cut up from the bottom and then from each corner on these three inch paper banners and create our little dovetail. I'll go ahead and do the rest off camera. So now I'm gonna work on my title. These came from the compliments and it's uh, reads summer adventure, but the blue's falling just kind of flat. So I'm thinking of spelling out the word summer with these uh, red letter stickers, orangey red letter stickers. So I like to use my plastic ruler, stick the letters to the ruler, and then we can move it around and make sure that we like it before we commit to adhering these to the paper. So obviously we have enough letters because it's a brand new sticker sheet. That's always a problem with letter stickers, and that's why I like die cuts. But I think this is gonna look good. I like that pop of color better than the blue. So now I just scoot my ruler down and I can lay these right to the paper and then we'll give them a good press so they are permanent. These little T-square rulers are super handy. I ordered a couple of them off of Amazon and I use them quite a bit. So we'll get those pressed down and make sure they're nice and adhered to the paper. And then I have a couple stamps. Now this one came with the kit, and then this one, Hello Summer, Everyday Life, that's just a favorite stash or stamp from my stash. So I went ahead and stamped some of the images there. And then I went and fussy cut these. These came from one of the cut apart cards in this Central Park kit. So I just cut all those and the Fun in the Sun card as well. So we'll set those aside and then I just wanna start placing these different embellishments and we'll see how the layout comes together. So these pennant banners are really fun because they bring in all the colors. And so, plus I just think they're fun and whimsical and you'll see that I use this 
type of embellishment quite a bit on my pages. So I think that'll look fun coming out from my sun. And I'm not sure if I wanna put that all the way across. So for now, I'm going to set this on the opposite side. We'll layer up our fun in the sun sticker there. And then these I pulled from another paper pack, The Happiest Place. And that is one of my absolute favorite things about Close to My Heart is the color coordination because they're working with the same color palette so you can pull from different packs. So I have this strip of paper here and I thought I'm gonna kind of mimic all the colors in the pennant banner and just bring in this pop of color on this pattern paper. So it's very busy, I don't want a lot, so we're just going to do a little strip and then kind of layer our embellishments over it. And now I definitely want to repeat this on the opposite side. So we'll sneak in this little strip of paper down on the bottom of the, of the photo border here. And I already glued that down, so I'm just gonna lift that up with my spatula and then squeeze that under and make sure it's straight. So these summer uh, acrylic shapes are from the Summer Vibes collection. And then we have that little vellum pair of sunglasses with the metallic finish on them. I think that looks cool there. So I'm bringing in just bits and pieces from the sticker sheet to layer up and kind of just give a little more oomph to these embellishment clusters. So this is actually a little journaling block, but it's just going to make a nice resting spot and help draw your eye and fill out that area. I want to use this beach ball again from the Summer Vibes pack, but it's the wrong color. So I'm just taking my orange blend Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend marker and I'm going to color it. Now at first, you can wipe this off, so you need to be careful. Just color it in and then let it dry and then the color is permanent. So you can change if, you know, these uh, embellishments don't work for you in the acrylic shapes. You can just color them to match your layout. There's also these adorable little pair of flippy floppies. So I will just put those right there. And I went ahead and colored a heart with the same orange marker. So I'm ready to do my journaling. And this stamp set is like a summer list. So I kind of did my journaling in a list style and it just says kayaking pine crest, jumping off rocks, water wrestling, having fun, have a picnic and kayak racing. So it's kind of a fun way to do the journaling and we can just check all the boxes and let everybody know what we did that day. It's kind of funny, this lake is really only about 45 minutes from our house and it's a high mountain lake and it's just super pretty. The water's cold, but it's very pretty and there's a hiking trail around the lake and it's just a really good time. We like to get up there as often as we possibly can. So I don't wanna forget about the sequins that came with this kit. So there's three colors, the blue, the yellow, and the red. So I think I'm gonna put one right on the end of that banner. So it just, it felt like it was kind of hanging out in the middle of nowhere. So we'll anchor that down with our sequins. And then I think I wanna add just a few more around my embellishment clusters. So just tiny pops of color. I like to do these in odd numbers. So we'll put three over there and then add three. And I'm doing one of each color um, on this side in this embellishment cluster here and there. I think that looks good. It's just the finishing touch it needed. If you guys have been joining in the fun and doing a little stash busting yourself, share it with us. We'd love to see what you've created. You can use hashtag CDT love your stash. Tune in tomorrow for creative design team member Lisa Stenz. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.